So here we have the Rhodesian Ridgeback in its natural environment, in the hot, humid weather, in the Ozark Mountains. Let us watch carefully as the Ozark, as the Rhodesian Ridgeback is smelling out its prey. What did he just say? Shalom, YouTube. Today, let's talk about Ridgebacks. Uh, the Ridgeback is a breed that comes from South Africa and they were originally lion hunters and the reason why they call them Ridgebacks is because you look at my dog here she is more of the reddish color that Ridgebacks can come in but you see that little stripe on her back where it looks like the hair grows the other way that's the Ridge or the Ridgeback and that's where they get their name um, these dogs are very good um, homesteading type dogs, preparedness dogs, because they have a natural defensive instinct. They were lion hunting dogs in South Africa, like I said earlier, and their purpose in life was to corner prey and then keep them at bay. And so they're more defensive than they are offensive, which is good because in, in a homesteading type environment, you want a dog that's defensively minded, but good with the family and children, which these typically are and <clears throat> excuse me they also uh, will do a good job uh, not of not only protecting you but generally speaking and yes there's an exception to every rule uh, they tend to stay near the home because they're uh, part of the hound family of dogs as well and so if you're looking for a good dog to have around your homestead around your um, you know off-grid bug out location yada 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 family dog that's protection minded uh, check into the Ridgebacks um, they're not very easy to find right now uh, I've noticed that in a couple um, oh S SHTF plan you know those types of publications through uh, you know Facebook and and some other resources they're talking about, you know, the best breeds that they're starting to mention the Ridgeback. So, you know, definitely something to keep in mind. Now, one caveat that I will say is that those of you that are more observant than others, you would have already noticed that Montana here has a training collar on. And the purpose for that is because um, Ridgebacks uh, are very stubborn. That stubbornness is a very good thing when you want them to protect you because they're not easily dissuaded from trying to protect, you know, those that they know that they're supposed to protect. However, that also at times makes them hard to train. So the purpose of me or point in me telling you that is this. If you're the type of person, let's say you're a husband and wife team and you have a dog. And you tell your dog to do something and it just goes about its business doing whatever the heck it wants to do rather than what you told it, um, don't get a Ridgeback. <laughs> if you're the type uh, of person that you tell your dog to do something and it does it, you are the type of person that, that would probably be successful in, in being a, a owner of a Ridgeback and have them be Part of your family in so much as uh, you know uh, a beast can be part of your family you know that doesn't mean that you know we are mean or cruel to them or any way but uh, uh, you know they're not people either if you know what I mean so um, but obviously you know we we treat Montana here very well you know we love her the kids love her but uh, then again she is a beast and you know <laughs> It is what it is, and you know we need to remember to keep things in proper order and perspective. So having said that, uh, again, the, the Ridgeback is, is a great breed of dog for those of you that are looking for something um, that is a good protection-minded dog that's good with family and kids. Um, generally speaking, I'm sure this is an exception to every rule, you know, and, and please don't be chewing. Oh yeah, dude, my brother's uncle's cousin's toss removed had a sister-in-law that had one of them their dogs and he done chewed my niece's arm off. Yeah, you know, we, those things <laughs> don't really, you know, provide any, you know, um, worthwhile uh, evidence to help people out there but if you have some facts or experiences that that are truly uh, vested shall we say about Ridgebacks please feel free to chime in and, and to help others 
uh, that might be looking for the proper dog for them. Well guys, this is Fletch signing off. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Shalom.